Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Karma Talk podcast, a monthly podcast with yoga studio owners who share their passion and experiences. And my name is Yulia, and I'm your host today. I have a special guest today at Karma Talks, and her name is Stephanie Paolini. She is the owner of Three Bridges Yoga, located in Fort Smalls, New Hampshire, and York. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you so much, Julia. I really appreciate you having me on here to chat with you. Great. Awesome. I'm, I'm excited. Let's jump right in. Fantastic. So my first question for you will be, what's in the name of Three Bridges Yoga? Three Bridges Yoga. So I wish, I think, so when we first came up with the name of Three Bridges Yoga, it's a lot more basic than I think that you might think that it is. Um, so Portsmouth, New Hampshire is the location of one of our studios. And then York is actually in Maine. And there's three bridges that connect the two states together. So there's a river that runs through it. And um, there's three bridges that connect the two locations. So we thought, well, all right, this is where the name's gonna go. Um, but I think it also has a lot deeper meanings, you know, as we've been around, this is our 10th year. And, um, you know, it's, it's the bridges that connect um, yourself to your own inner self. It's mm -hmm. the bridges that connect you to other people. It's the bridges that connect you to all the living things in the world. Um, it's been kind of cool how it's, we've, as we've gone through the years with the name of it, it has a much deeper meaning than, than the original intention. And I love that. That's amazing. That's yeah. what I thought. That's what I first thought. I thought it's like bridging different dimensions of our lives. That's, yep. that was my first thought, kind of like the spiritual, physical and emotional states, like everything kind of interconnected. No, that's great. I mean, I love the name. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Um, well, I've just heard the great news about the award you received. And uh, for me, my question will be, how does it feel to receive the best of Fort Smalls award? And what does it mean to you? Oh, well, thank you very much for your kind words. Um, I was completely floored, actually, to find out that we won it. I didn't even know that we were. As, so this is the second year we've won the award. Um, and the way that the award process works is um, people in the area just hop online and there's a whole bunch of different categories and I guess people just hop on there and vote for us. Um, so it's very humbling to know that, you know, I didn't even really know that we were nominated for it and we have so many loyal practitioners that, you know, were on there and voting for us. Um, so yeah, just it, the beautiful award just came in the mail this morning and it's, um, it's, it really is, it's an honor in the area that we're in gosh, there's, there's so many yoga studios and there's so many wonderful yoga studios. It's, um, it's a really amazing place that we live in. And um, it's, it's quite an honor to win the award. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I, th I think it's excellent. It's awesome, especially when it comes as a, as a surprise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, keep them coming, yes. Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> All the awards, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's not a big town, right? It's it's a relatively you know small town. It's not a huge town. It's I would say it's a small size city. Yeah. So Portsmouth itself is this beautiful. It's a quintessential New England town. Um, you know, cobblestone sidewalks, beautiful buildings, nice. uh, sweet little market square. And then my other location in York, um, that's a beach community. So we're right on the ocean, and um, you know, both of the studios have. They have a little bit different of a vibe, but there's a lot of connectivity between the two studios and they're close enough that there's practitioners that go to both of them. So it's a really lovely community. Yeah, sounds great. I think it's important to be in a great community when you have a lot of followers and people support you. Yeah. Great. Excellent. Yeah, let's see what our next question is. So, well, is, do you think there is a secret behind your victory? Is there anything that you think could have could have been the reason behind this victory? So I think really what I try to do at Three Bridges Yoga is I really try to make it an accessible yoga studio that anybody can come to. It's not the yoga studio that you have to be 25 years old and fully dressed in the perfect yoga clothes. Um, I have practitioners that come as young as age, you know, 15, 16. 
And then I have practitioners that are all the way up into their 90s that come to class. We have a really solid balance of men and women. So it's not just, you know, it's not just a studio for women. Um, and I have a wide range of teachers. Um, and I have, um, I'm really fortunate to have teachers that kind of all teach from their own heart and their own place. So I think when people show up to class, they're able to connect with so many different of, of um, you know, my teachers and, and the way that they teach and what it is that they're teaching. And I think that that's what makes um, Three Bridges a little bit different from other studios. Well, that's where the bridging comes in, right? You yeah, bridge exactly. there, you, you bridge different generations and different styles and... True. Did I lose you? Can you hear me? Hmm. <laughs> there you are. Can you oh, hear me? yes. Okay, let, let me see because we need to get it working again. Can you hear me? No? I can hear you. Can you yes. hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, if you hear me, that's fine because I cannot hear you. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, so we'll, we'll, why don't we just continue because I have a couple more questions for you. Okay. And we'll just improvise. We'll just experiment. Perfect. So the next question will be, uh, there have been some changes in the yoga industry. Uh, in studio classes are less crowded, no hands on adjustments, wearing a mask requirement. How was this transition for your studios? How was this transition to the new normal? Yeah. So, what's been really interesting about this was when all of um, this kind of really started back in the middle of March, um, we immediately switched to an online format. Mm -hmm. So, we were teaching using Zoom for the last, uh, gosh, it must have been three months. And then things have started to reopen here. So June 1st, I was able to reopen uh, my Portsmouth studio. And just last Monday, I was able to open up in York. And it has been, um, there's a lot of differences. So I'm a huge fan of doing hands-on assists and adjustments. We don't do any of those anymore. Mm -hmm. um, we actually don't even circulate the room anymore. We just have the teacher at the front of the room teaching from the yoga mat. Um, in order to comply with the state regulations, we have people wear masks when they're not on their yoga mat. So if they're walking around or using the restroom or checking in, they have to wear their mask. But once people are on their, on their mat, they don't have to wear their mask, thank goodness, because it would be so hard to breathe with that mask on there. Um, and classes, it's been interesting. Um, so when we first opened up in Portsmouth, I could only have eight people in my studio to keep it at the distance that the governor was requiring of us. And now I'm able to have 20 people in there, which is still a lot less than what we typically have. Um, but classes, you know, I'm still getting, I think, more people that show up and take class on Zoom. So I live stream all the classes. You know, I'll be teaching in the studio and then, um, and then, um, um, you know, I also, also stream it and it just seems like people are still feeling a little bit more comfortable practicing at home rather than practicing in the studio. But I think that that'll change. Did we lose audio again? Can you hear me? Oh no, no. Yes, well, I hope so. I mean, I'm sure that people are, I mean, it's only going to get better and people will be more interested and more comfortable and relaxed coming back in the studios. And yeah. uh, I'm sure you guys are doing a great job with all the precautions and thank you. All the, all the guidelines for safe, safe yep. operating. And uh, I'm, it, I mean, it's just a pause, just a break, and then hopefully we'll all, we all just jump right back in right i hope so that's my goal <laughs> that's yep that's my goal too yep <laughs> so you're saying there are less classes now on your schedule on three bridges yoga schedule or is so you kind of have to make less 
schedule less classes. That's correct. Yeah, we used to have um, somewhere we used to have about five or six classes a day, mm -hmm. and now we're just having three. So we have three classes a day. It also, I mean, I think part of it is the fact that people aren't super comfortable with being outside yet. And the other thing is where we live on the seacoast here. Um, this is the only time of year that we get like really nice. It's not the only time of year we get nice weather, but people very much like being on the beach. And so classes are usually quieter in the summer anyway. So um, I think just support both of those aspects of it. Um, but I think back in the fall or coming up in the fall, um, I bet we're busy again. Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, the weather makes sense for me too. Like now it's so nice outside and I kind of want to get out. Mm -hmm. because it's not nice every day exactly you have to capitalize on it when you can yep you want to yep. catch the moment for sure mm -hmm. okay so um, i have an interesting question for you right now did you do yoga today i have done yoga today i did yoga at eight o'clock this morning i did that's it was a very great. slow practice but it was exactly what i needed that's awesome. I'm, yeah. I'm so happy for you. Would you say that doing yoga and having a regular routine keeps you sane? Yeah. Um, this I, rhythm. Um, I notice very directly if I step away from my practice and even for, you know, a week or something, um, mentally, I feel less grounded, less centered. And when I'm coming to my mat every day, even if it's just for a half an hour, I feel so much better. And I think most people do. I agree. Yeah. Yes, I do. When I, when I discipline myself and I do yoga every day, even for a little bit, even 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I, I do feel the difference. It's true. It's it changes true. things. Like it, it does. Opens up a new, it, it bridges me with, with the spiritual world. <laughs> It's so true. I love that. It's so true. Yes. Well, I'm glad uh, you bring so much inspiration into the world. It's, I mean, it's, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So um, I think we're close to wrapping up. Wonderful. Unless Wonderful. you have something else to say. No, just thank you so much. It was really lovely to chat with you and, um, you know, see your face rather than just over email and, and conversations like that. It was just really nice to, to have a nice little chit chat this morning. Yes, I love it. Thanks so much for joining us. It's great to have you here. And it's great to hear all the insights that are happening to you with your yoga studios and your yoga life. Thank um, you. Yes. And to everyone else, thanks for joining us. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.